Hello, it's Miss Nicole from the South Vant and Bridgeville Libraries. I'm here today to give you another author and an activity. Today, we're going to listen to the story called Bear's Shadow by Frank Ash. And then we're going to do some shadow activities. Let me show you how to get on. Here I am at my computer and I typed in Bear's Shadow Grandma Ani. A-N-N-I-I apostrophe S, Grandma Ani's house. And I came up with these two books. We need to go to the second book where we see Bear Shadow by Frank Ash. And that's what you're gonna click on to hear the story. Enjoy. That story was so much fun. I love all of Frank Ash's books about Bear and his friend Little Bird. So the first thing I thought we would talk about is making some shadow puppets. You can make shadow puppets by getting out some um, construction or cardstock paper that's a little bit heavier than regular printer paper. And you'll need your pencil to trace what animal or thing you wanna make. I used gray and I made a octopus. And I used my hole punch to make two eyes. You don't have to though. And I taped on this kebab skewer that I found in my kitchen that I might make kebabs with. It's nice and thin. And I'll use it to make some shadow puppets for a story. I also traced a fish, gave him an eyeball with my hole punch. And I taped on a straw. That might be something easier you have at your house. You need something to hold your puppet with. Then I made a turtle. Because I was running out of gray, I grabbed a piece of green. Even though you're not gonna be able to tell what color your puppet is because you're just gonna see the black shadow. And this time I used a large craft stick or popsicle stick. Taped that on, just regular little tape. And finally, I made a butterfly and I put some holes in to be the decorations because you won't be able to see if I colored anything because we're only gonna see the dark shadow. And I used a regular popsicle stick. Pretty soon we're going to shut off the lights and get a big flashlight or a lamp and we're going to shine it against a white wall once we make the room go dark and make a little shadow show. You could also use your fingers to make different kinds of animals. And an even um, great way to go outside and get some exercise is get a friend or a brother or sister or grandparent and go out in the sunshine and have them trace your shadow with some chalk. Now, I can't do that today because all my kids are at school and there's snow on my patio, so I can't trace myself, but maybe when the snow melts, I can go up and do that. So let's dim the lights and see our shadow show. Well, here I am in my darkened room. I have my white wall and a lamp shining towards it, and I'm gonna put my shadow puppets out. If I put it close to the lamp, I can't really see it. If I move it further away, I can see my puppet. And he's just swimming in the sea, and then my fish comes along. Hello there, fish. Oh, hi, octopus. How are you today? I'm doing great. You want to play tag? Sure. Tag, you're a ah. So I made a little shadow show. Remember I made that turtle. Remember if I put him too far away, he's blurry. To put him closer to the wall and I have my shadow and my butterfly. I think if you have longer sticks like the skewer or the straw, you won't see your hands as much. We're walking in the meadow. Another thing you could do, remember I told you, you could make a shadow with your hands. Here is my bunny rabbit. Hippity hoppity, hippity hoppity. And you can always make a dog. Woof, 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 woof. And if you use two hands, you could make a bird. 
Sure. Well, I hope you enjoyed those shadow activities. Remember, you need to have a light source like the sun or a lamp and it will shine on you or an object, but it can't shine through you. It goes around you or the object and that's how you get your shadow. So have fun with shadows. Bye-bye.